Hi guys, this is iTechno Teen once again and in this video I'll be reviewing the BSNL Broadband BB Home Combo ULD 900 plan. Actually I reviewed this plan earlier about 6 months ago but I'm reviewing this plan uh, once again now. It's because of the fact that BSNL uh, recently made some changes in this plan. Okay, so let's get started with the review and with our first test which is gonna be the in, uh, the connectivity test and in this test I'll connect to, it, to the internet disconnect from it and try to reconnect and let's uh, see how fast the, the connection performs okay so right now I'm not connected to the internet and I'm gonna connect it connect to the internet okay so now I'm connected as you can see it says broadband in internet access Okay, and now I'm going to disconnect and now we are disconnected and now let's try to reconnect and now we are uh, again connected to the internet okay so as you can see the the, con the connection uh, connected to the internet really fast and as well as it, it disconnected really fast so no issues regarding connectivity and now so let's move on to a second test which is gonna be the web surfing test so I'll open Google Chrome and now I'll delete all of the browsing history and previously saved data. You know, but, mm, browsers saves. Uh, you know, today most of the browsers saves uh, data of those websites that you commonly visit to make them load faster. So to make this test fair, I cleared off all the uh, browsing history and the saved da uh, data on my browser. So let's get started with the first thing in this test and that is going to be the bsnl website so first of all i'm going to go to google.com and search for bsnl broadband plan right now google instant is turned on and as you can see it came up pretty instantly okay so the website loaded quite fine okay this page came up quite fast and now okay it came up almost instantly so this here is the uh, BB Home Combo ULD 900 plan, the pl the one that I'm reviewing right now in this video. And now I'll, I'll tell you what changes BSNL made. This plan has a speed cap of 8 GB per month, okay? And now the changes that BSNL made is earlier in this plan, if your usage is below 8 GB, then your speed will be 4 Mbps. And now also it's 4 Mbps. There, there's no changes in the speeds below uh, 8 GB of monthly usage. Now here's the change. Earlier, if you cross this 8 GB cap, then your speed uh, used to drop to 256 kbps, which is kind of pathetic because at that speed, e even watching a YouTube video at 240p, it buffers. But now they have increased the speed to 256 kb uh, to 512 kbps uh, beyond 8 GB okay so now you can watch 360p videos comfortably but still don't expect downloading hardcore with the, these speeds you know okay so let's move on to the third phase of this uh, web surfing test which is gonna be loading heavy websites and let's load some websites like bbc.com cnn.com and also my own website which is itechnoteen.com so bbc came up i guess yup it did it's still loading actually i'm loading three websites at a time so it's kind of hard on this connection okay so all of the three came up as you can see bbc loaded up cnn also completed loading and my own website which is itechnoteen.com also loaded up okay so it did fairly well in this uh, web surfing test and so now let's move on to our second test which is going to be the youtube test okay actually the third test i'm sorry let's go to youtube and i'll search for my own channel and let's go to my channel and we'll be watching my, uh, one of my, my latest video in 720p HD for about 30 seconds and let's see if it buffers or not I'm gonna switch to 720p and let's hit the play button it didn't start it playing up it's starting now 
Okay, it started. Let's mute the volume. Okay, so it buffered for first time. Okay, now it's again start started playing up. Okay, fifteen seconds. Okay, so I played the video for around 30 seconds as you can see I have paused the video at 30 seconds and right now this much is of the video is played and this much is downloaded actually it buffered one time in the starting for about two to three seconds but then it picked up as you can see it's, it's now downloading the video quite uh, with a quite fast rate okay so no problems regarding that I can watch 720p HD videos comfortably in, on this plan without any uh, sort of buffering or stuff like that Okay, so now let's move on to our fourth test which is gonna be the mother of all tests which is a speed test and for this test I'll be doing to a total of four speed tests two on speedtest.net and two on bandwidthpalace.com so let's go to speedtest.net and get started so the speedtest.net website uh, loaded up this is all kind of flash based things so this is not related to the speed of your internet it's related to the processing power and right now I am processing a lot of things in the background so it's kind of sluggish and I'll be using uh, uh, and now I'll choose the New Delhi hugest server because that's the nearest and the fastest server for me Actually, I'm uh, right now I'm in JNK and the nearest server is Lahore, but I won't choose that because uh, these Pakistani servers are slower than our Indian ones. So let's get started with the New Delhi hugest server and let's see. So we got a ping of 150 milliseconds, which is kind of adequate. It's not good, but it's not bad too. Okay, so we got a down speed of. 1.75 mbps and let's see how much upload speed we'll get we'll get actually the highest upload speeds i've ex experienced on this plan were around 0.8 mbps it's because of the fact that these are adsl based connections so let's do this uh, so let's do the second speed test okay this time we got a low ping of 108 milliseconds when it comes to ping the lower the better ping is the response time the lower the response time is the faster uh, the connection is going to be and as you saw the difference earlier the ping was 150 milliseconds and the speed was 1.75 mbps now the ping is 108 milliseconds and the connection speed is 1.78 mbps up and 0.39 mbps down so let's now go to bandwidthpalace.com and do the rest two of the two speed tests that we have to do. So let's get started. The bandwidthpalace.com uh, loaded faster than speedtest.net. It's because of the fact that this is a light website compared to speedtest.net. Let's see how much we'll get this time we are touching 1.5 1.9 mbps 1.2 we are above 2 mbps right now okay, so we got 2.19 mbps which is around 2.2 mbps down let's see how much we'll get uh, the, in the uploads okay, we got 380 kbps up and 2.2 mbps down so let's do our last speed test and let's see how much we'll get this time So we are touching 1.7 Mbps, 1.82. Okay, so we got so this time we got 1.98 Mbps, which is approximately 2 Mbps. And in the upload speeds, right now I'm getting 271 Kbps. So as you saw, the connection average between 1.7 to 2.2 Mbps. Actually, it's because of the fact that uh, 
you know traffic is kind of high all times so uh, right now it's 7:30 pm and so i got a decent speed considering the indian uh, internet speed average of 1.4 mbps this connection is kind of decent okay so now let's move on to our last test which is going to be file download test and for this i'll go to dilandu.com it's a popular music download website and we'll download a song randomly let's download this first one let's see how fast it comes okay save link as right save okay so it's a 2.2 mb file let's see how fast it comes say 10 seconds left now the file the file is done it took around uh, 10 to 15 seconds to download a uh, 2 2 and a half megabyte file so this uh, download speeds are kind of adequate i won't say it's good it's just adequate adequate okay so that's why i forgot one final test which is going to be the customer support test and as we all know bsnl is a government based company so the customer support is not great you call them ask for support they just ignore you you each time when you encounter a problem you have to contact the higher authorities to get your stuff uh, to get your problem sorted out okay so thanks for watching comment rate and don't forget to subscribe and by the way don't forget to visit my website which is itechnoteen.com my facebook page which is facebook.com/itechnoteen and also my twitter page which is twitter.com/itechnoteen So that's it for now signing off